Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you are kidding me, right? And we are not making it up. It is real science. Every statement that I thought was a lie, I zoomed a little more. <laughs> all of it? Was that all of it? It was all of it. What's happening, everybody? Chef Nathan Lippy. Welcome to Cook, Eat, Repeat. Today, uh, we're going to talk about salmon. We're going to talk about elevating your dishes with simple flavors. We're going to do some umami. We'll talk about that later. We're going to talk about savory flavors and how to maximize and impress your friends with an amazing, simple dish. In this video, I want to show you guys how to make a salmon belly salad with a honey soy glazed shiitake mushroom and arugula salad. Blah, Outside blah, of... <laughs> blah. You are kidding me, right? No. That was over the top. It's gonna be good. Sit, check this out. We have half of a salmon. This is a whole side of salmon. I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of identifying what parts of the salmon are for what, uh, how to the cooking, procedure on what, see, just T -t -t today, Junior, we're going to focus on the salmon. So uh, <laughs> basically what we want to talk about today is this part. Now this, everything down this way, this is the salmon belly. Now if you watch like uh, any Nat Geo, um, you see like a wolf or a bear and they grab a salmon, what are they eating first? They're eating that belly because that's where all the omega-3 fatty acids are. That's where the fatty, wonderful uh, health attributes of this fish are. Let's, we'll do a butcher. We're gonna butcher this. Let's butcher that thing. So this is skin on, and if you look, salmon has the most beautiful, elegant skin. It is just stunning and gorgeous. If you wanna keep the skin on, it gets really crispy, and there actually is a lot of delicious health benefits in that skin, but for today, we want to get rid of it. So the way to do that, we're gonna take our knife right down here, CJ, this is the tail end. We're gonna kinda of put our knife in just a touch just like that. We're gonna basically make a little handle. All right, so we're gonna slice through just a little bit to give us something to grip. And we're gonna go straight through the flesh down to the skin. Are you paying attention, CJ? Because uh, I know you're gonna do this. No, I'm, I'm you're gonna basically go prepping so that I can get home and make my youngest daughter eat a giant piece of salmon. Yeah, I bet you are. Mm -hmm. So the trick with uh, taking the skin off of a salmon is to get a nice grip and you're actually gonna force your blade down to the skin and create some tension. Uh, it takes a little bit to get it started, but once you get going, it actually goes pretty quick. So I like to go just a touch at a time until I can get a nice grip. If you want to, you can take a little bit of uh, paper towel like this, hold the tail with the paper towel. So just angle your knife down, give some tension on that skin and you're just gonna go back and forth. And every once in a while, if you want, you can kind of flip the fish back, see how you're working, oh, right? Man. See that perfectly clean skin. So it's okay if some of the stuff is left on that, like just well, a, from the like end, a little bit of the- sometimes it happens, yeah. yeah. The trick is just to keep going, slow and steady wins the race here, CJ. Bro, the smell is just, an, it's, it's just- Wonderful? It's yeah. delicious salmon, man. I have candles in my house that smell like this. No, you have salmon, wait. Salmon candles. You got a salmon candle? Of course I don't. Where does someone get a- it was, you were sar it was sarcasm? It's a little bit of sarcasm. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so give it some tension. We're gonna slice it back. We're gonna go out the top like that. Now that is the main part of our Jeez. salmon. Now we have this piece over here at the bottom. And this is lovely and wonderful. We're gonna follow this line right where you see the thick bands of fat. Uh, right here, we're gonna mm -hmm. kind of follow that line. So we're gonna come here and slice all the way down that beautiful belly. So you see what we have here? So that's one piece. So this is the belly. This is a ton of flavor, absolutely stunning. If you wanna go a little bit further, check this out. Uh, we'll just do a full butcher here. So this would be the tail section, like that. Mm -hmm. This would be our second cut. This is our top loin right here follow that bone line right through the top of the fish just like that and then this is our loin so Pretty sweet. Uh, here are your basic cuts of a whole fillet of salmon 
uh, your belly, your loin, your top loin, your second cut, and your tail. Uh, these are great for grilling, sauteing, uh, things like that. Uh, over here you got sushi gray. You can also grill, uh, pan fry, things like that uh, with the loin and the top loin. And the belly is best crispy. I know you're excited. Don't, you can't hide your Hold euphoria. On. <laughs> now we're gonna take this, uh, we're gonna do a couple of sections so we can get the most sear possible. So now I've got three beautiful pieces of salmon belly. Now I'm on the air fryer today. CJ, can you see that it is smoking hot already? Let's see. Oh, I can. Oh, it is cruising. Smoke. I don't smoke. It's a disgusting habit. I'm gonna go medium, medium high heat. Uh, I've got my other two off. Uh, I'm gonna clean this cutting board up a little bit. We're gonna get to our salad before we start cooking our fish because this is salmon belly. It has a lot of fat, a lot of flavor, but it also cooks extremely, extremely fast. Okay. You don't wanna overcook it. CJ, are you an arugula kind of guy? I, I am a Yeah? And arugula, it's a, it's a game changer. This stuff is so, so good. Check this out. We are going to make a little salad out of this stuff and it is, it is phenomenal. It's a, it's a known as a bitter green or a savory green, and the flavor is insane. Imagine like a lemon, like lemon pepper, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just savory. It's umami. Uh, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Umami is kind of like savory, but it's like the mushroom flavor, the beef flavor, that flavor that just coats your entire palate. It's just like man, umami. I love. Umami. Hey, hey, what is that? Umami. Hey, I need a bowl. Keep on running. Screw you, CJ! <laughs> 12 seconds later. Now, before I get to my salad, I'm going to go with our shiitake mushrooms. Uh, take a close-up of that real quick. Shiitake mushrooms are fantastic because they are... Gross? I don't want to say it has a beef. <laughs> you don't like mushrooms either, CJ? Dude, no, they're disgusting. No fish, no, no mushrooms. mushrooms. You don't like any part of this dish. No, I won't try this dish. In this episode, we're going to talk about all the ways CJ is wrong. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil onto my griddle, a little bit just like that. And I'm gonna throw my shiitake mushrooms right down. And I'm gonna hit that with just a bit of salt and pepper. Uh, shiitake mushrooms, uh, it's kind of like beef. I mentioned that umami flavor. Umami is kind of a, a feeling, uh, CJ. It's like, I got a feeling. My mushrooms are gonna be just fine. Nope. Has that umami flavor that's like, um, it's more of a sensation than an actual flavor, uh, but it's like a sensation. You're now making things up. No. You are now making things no. up. No, okay, here we go. You wanna get nerdy? You wanna get nerdy, yeah, buddy? Yeah, let's nerd it out, let's guys. Get nerdy. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out. Such a jerk. This oh guy. my god, I love it. I'm gonna get these to toss real quick. Now this uh, this dish goes really this dash. This dish goes pretty fast. So once these get about halfway done, I'm gonna start with my fish. And I think I'm right about there. I am. We're gonna add a bit of olive oil down to our griddle. Where'd we go? I found it. Yeah. Touch of olive oil and a touch of sesame oil. Now the reason I'm adding both is because sesame oil has a very low smoke point, which means it can burn really fast. The olive oil helps lift that temperature. A touch of sesame oil. Come over here, buddy. We're gonna hit my uh, salmon right down here with some salt, beauty, and some pepper. We're gonna do too much. Uh, we're only gonna salt one side because we're gonna add some sesame, um, I'm sorry, we're gonna add some soy sauce. So here we go, beauty. We're gonna have some soy sauce with some honey in just a minute, so I'm only gonna do one side. Let that crisp up. We're gonna toss our mushrooms one more time. Oh, beautiful. See, we're getting that color. Well, let's get to our salad. Here we go. Arugula in the bowl. Boom. This is really simple. This is kind of like an elegant little restaurant technique. These are broccoli sprouts, and they are incredibly delicious. So I'm just gonna pull those apart, toss those in with my arugula. Beautiful. We're gonna take a little bit of red onion. Uh, we're gonna shave this pretty, pretty thin. We only need like three to five minutes on our salmon. So everything's gonna come together really quick, which is nice. It's like a weeknight thing, or if you're like CJ and you don't like fish at all, 
It's a no night thing. Stop watching this video altogether. Yeah. Leave a comment down below. CJ's first cooking show is my jam. Cause this is Yeah. <laughs> Mock. <laughs> yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. I'm gonna take uh, my red onion. Uh, as thin as I can, almost shaved. Uh, if your knife is sharp, this should be fairly easy to do. Or you could use a mandolin if you want. Uh, but the reason we want it thin is so that we get a really tiny, thin little hit of that onion flavor without it just kind of punching you in the face. So what we want is this. Check this out, CJ. Really thin. Pop that down. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Beautiful. Look at this. Okay, let's check this out. We're gonna toss our um, our mushrooms, and I think our fish. Oh yeah, these guys are just about done. I'm gonna slide these over to the cool side of my griddle, just to sit, because I don't want them to overcook. Let's check out our fish right here, CJ. Oh man, can you? Come on. There's no way you can hear this over the sizzle, but that is a crispy, crunchy crust. That is what I'm talking about. It is just crispy and unbelievable. Now that's all of that salmon fat uh, getting super extra crispy and that's where the magic happens. That's why this is a salmon belly salad. So let that go for just a bit. Let's keep cracking over here. When you're juicing a lemon or an onion, <laughs> put right. your weight on top of the lemon and give it a push before you cut it. This just makes it a lot easier to squeeze. Whoa, hang on. Give it a slice. Now it's extra juicy on the inside, and actually you can see how it's a lot more pliable. Just helps us get the juice out. I like to cut my hand like that, give it a squeeze, and we're gonna squeeze the juice of one lemon over our greens, sprouts, and onions. Lemon juice is such a wonderful flavor. It's so bright. It's my favorite thing about pledge. <laughs> what a great culinary reference you got there, CJ. I know, my palate. I'm going to add just a touch of that sesame oil. We want to compound some of those Asian flavors. So we're not doing a ton, just a little bit, as Bruce Mitchell says, a little dabble do ya, because we don't need too much. I'm going to hit that with just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We're going to give this just a nice light toss, mix everything together. A hand toss? Hand toss, my friend. Huh. Just makes it look beautiful. We get a little bit of coating of oil, a little bit of lemon juice, brightens up the flavor. I'm gonna separate some of those uh, sprouts out so we have a nice, even mix. All right, I feel good about that. Let's check on our fish, buddy. All right, so now that our fish is done, we see how crispy and gorgeous it is. I'm gonna bring my mushrooms back over here, back over to the heat, and we're gonna add a touch of soy right over our mushrooms and a little bit onto our fish. We're also going to add a bit of honey right over all of them. If you want to stretch out your thyme, you can add a little bit of water right over the top. This will help get a reduction before your soy sauce burns. Can you hear me over the sizzle? No, I can ah! hardly, I can hardly hey, say ya. What? You're a terrible stuntman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can hear you. It was just really mean. This is going to create a really nice glaze. Check this out. I'm going to put the salmon over into the liquid. Now look at that. The color. Now that's some of the honey and the soy. Here we go, buddy. Check this out. We have our plate over here. And I'm going to bring... Let's do... Let's do mushrooms first. Okay. Mushrooms first, guys. I'm going to take some of these beautiful mushrooms. We're going to go right down in the center of our plate, just like that. Kind of make a nice, beautiful little bed. Spread it out. Oh man, it smells. Can you smell the soy sauce, CJ? Oh yeah. The sesame oil? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah. We're gonna go with a bit of our salad right over the top. I like to uh, use my hand. Check out the bowl, CJ. I like to use my hand. You're gonna kind of like loose pack it and you're gonna pull it in nice and tight. This gives us some height in the center of our plate. Oh yeah. So we're packing it Nice and tight. This is more just plating, and it, it doesn't change the flavor of anything. It just gives us that nice height. You see that? Just like that. Now we're gonna take our beautiful fish. Whew. Gonna make a little bit of room here because we are gonna slice it. That gorgeous salmon belly. It is crispy. That soy. Oh man! I just licked my finger. 
holy whoa. Holy whoa. Holy whoa. Oh, what else is holy whoa? CJ couldn't even see this, but I can. Whoa. Dude, can, can you that... see it now? Come here. We're going to be friends. This is awkward. Oh. You you good. Welcome me. back. Okay. Welcome back. All right, so we have our plate done here. Let's get to our salmon. I'm going to cut this into um, kind of like long, long pieces, only because it stacks so nice. We've got that crispy skin, so it will hold up. So I'm gonna stack this near you, CJ. Okay. Just like that Beautiful. over the top. Got another one. Let's go with this guy over here. Nice long, oh man, it's so crispy. Can you hear that? Yeah. No. Can you? Mm -hmm. That's crisp. Crispy. It's called crunch. Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. Oh yeah. Come do a last little piece right over here. Now this, my friends, is stunning. Kind of pull it all into the center, just for presentation. Hello, presentation. I'm gonna take a bit of oil at the end. This is just a touch of olive oil. I'm just gonna give it a nice little garnish. Boom, we're gonna hit it with just a bit of salt around the rim, a touch of pepper, and I'm gonna do one last little drizzle of soy sauce. This will kind of break uh, even in the oil, just give us a nice look. That, my friends, is where the magic is. CJ Frazier, I know you were not excited, but that's because you're wrong. It's because you're wrong. Wow. Man, I need a fork. Okay. Me and Ethan, who are prepared for this shoot, will stand right here. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the griddle for you. Ah. I'm gonna take care of that. Ah. Eh? Well, you gotta use your fork to get through it, bro. Does that even do anything for you nope. whatsoever? Nope. That's your baby. We got arugula, we have sprouts, we have sweet and savory mushroom salmon belly. Mmm. It's so good. This is having a restaurant in your backyard. Restaurant quality, stunning, fantastic. Like better than Long John Silvers? <laughs> <laughs> you said that to make me laugh, right? You don't actually eat it don't you don't you no. don't do that, do you? No, dude. Well, you get the chicken. I get the chicken. <laughs> French fries and hush puppies and lots of crunchies. So this is a fun one. If you want to take your flavor game to the next level, it only takes a, a few little tips and tricks here and there, focusing on all the different flavors. In this dish, we've got sweet, we've got savory, we've got umami, we have a little bit of crunch uh, with the crispy salmon belly. It's nutritious, it's wonderful, it's delicious, it's elegant. Any other adjectives I could use, CJ? It's Long Johnny Silver. Get it, get it. Again? <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do. If you want this recipe and a ton more, go to blackstoneproducts.com. Every single time you guys cook, I want you to be learning. I want you to, to eat it. I want you to repeat it. And I want you guys to have an amazing time. Don't follow recipes forever. Follow them until you learn the song, then write your own songs. That was like five metaphors. And yeah, too many metaphors. It's so good hanging out with you guys. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you loved it. Be sure to share it if you love it. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Shaka.